Welcome, Ben Mama. Hello everybody, Kieran AK The Laird here and uh, this is just a little uh, short intro um, for the following video because this weekend had just gone. Um, I went to uh, Bedford Comic Con because it was uh, only down the road from me and uh, it looked like a good event. It was spun by Striking Events. I've been to one of the events before. You may remember if you watch my channel regularly. We do a views and walk around video for Hemel Hempstead Comic Con. So um, this is the same people who did that one that do Bedford. Their events are fairly, fairly similar, but they had some different stuff at, at Bedford, which is interesting, mainly in terms of the, the movie props and stuff, which you'll see in the video, um, because that was definitely one of the coolest things about the event. Um, so yeah, I, I, I decided uh, pretty much at last minute, actually, I wasn't intending to go there, but I had some free time and um, it was an absolutely lovely day. I mean, it's October and it was like 25 degrees, 26 degrees. It was an absolutely gorgeous day. So we decided to, to head along for a couple of hours and it was well worth it. I had a really good time. I uh, got to chat with the guy who ran the uh, the event, Mark. Um, so shout out to him. I uh, really enjoyed chatting to him briefly, you know, talking about cons. Because I've just done Luton Comic Con, Bedford Comic Con. Uh, you know, just down the road from me. Um, uh, yeah, and we, we, we had a little chat about different things and his event was really well attended and some things he did better than, than our event. And I think there was actually some things that we did better. Um, uh, you know, uh, most likely I think our cosplay was a lot better than, than, than I saw at Bedford. But there was lots of things that Bedford did better. They had, they had you know, really good stalls in particular. Their, their, their traders were absolutely brilliant. They had such a good selection of stuff. And uh, I bought so much more than I intended to because of that. I bought a ton of stuff. I mean, I've actually got some of it here so I can show you um, some of the stuff that I bought. So let me just grab that. So events, I'm a sucker for t-shirts. I always end up buying t-shirts because I flipping love t-shirts. I've got so many geek t-shirts, it's unbelievable. And I'm wearing my favourite Atari Centipede one today, but I've got I've got uh, a few that I bought. So I'll show you, show you those. Uh, so I bought this 18 one, which I think is, is really, really cool. That's um, one of the ones I bought. There's a stall that's, that's pretty much at all the Comic Cons, and they they it's the same stall. I always buy stuff from them because their stuff is so so awesome. And this is a Back to the Eighties one, um, which I think is equally awesome because it has all Ghostbusters and Thundercats and He-Man and everything on it. Really cool T-shirts. I bought them. Um, I bought this because it was cheap and I liked it and thought it was really cool. It's a Pac-Man light, so I'll just take it out of the pack so you can just see it properly. Um, and of course now I can't get the flipping thing open, can I? After I had it open before, so I'm doing well there, aren't I? I'll just take that box out of the way. So yeah, it's um, you see it probably see it lighting up on the camera there actually. So you can push the bottom, it has light on the top, so that goes onto your ceiling obviously. Um, but so you can change the colour, red. Yellow, blue, green, there's multiple colour ones as well. Um, there's flashing ones. So yeah, it's it's really, really cool. I really like it. So I've got that in my office now. Let's join my uh, Space Invaders light, which I think I showed, showed on a on a previous video. So I've got that as well. Uh, speaking of Pac-Man stuff, because I'm a sucker for anything Pac-Man stuff, I bought this jigsaw. They had a few Pac-Man jigsaws actually. So this goes this way, doesn't it? But I really liked this arcade machine one. I thought this is mega, mega cool. And I love jigsaws. So yeah, they had an impossible puzzle type one as well, which is just like loads of ghosts. Um, but this one's a bit more interesting, isn't it? So I bought that one as well. So I might have a look at that on a future video. I might do another uh, video looking at some Pac-Man stuff because uh, you know, I did a, a whole video looking at uh, Pac-Man stuff that I collected, memorabilia and stuff before. So I might do that again because I've got so much cool stuff um, that I've picked up. There is actually some other stuff uh, as well, but I'm not going to show that on camera because I actually ended up buying lots of Christmas presents for people, uh, family members and stuff, because there's so much cool stuff there. And I don't want to show that on camera just in case one of them's watching because uh, my, my my siblings and stuff do quite often watch my videos. So, yeah, so I won't I won't um, I won't show any of that. But yeah, uh, so really, yeah, my thoughts. I mean, it's, it's, it's a, a, a big event, probably about twice the size of what we did in Luton in a big sports hall. Uh, the traders were brilliant. The movie props were brilliant. I mean, they had uh, Hopper's car from Stranger Things. They had uh, a Back to the Future DeLorean signed by all the cast, so a proper one. Um, 
They had uh, the Blues Brothers car. They had um, uh, a set from Gremlins, which was so awesome. That was that was probably my favourite thing at the event was the Gremlin stuff. And you'll see that in the video because I've got some really good film of that. That was so awesome. They also had a Ghostbusters um, set up with props and the, the the packs and everything you could put on your back, which was so cool as well. Um, so yeah, I, I, I geeked out of that because I was wearing Ghostbusters stuff to the event as well. I didn't quite cosplay, but I was kind of wearing a Ghostbusters uniform, uh, which I, yeah, so when I saw the Ghostbusters thing, they were pointing at me and I, I came over and it was like, yeah, this is so cool. So that was really good. Um, yeah, I mean, they had food and drink and ice cream van, which was awesome because it was really hot. So I really enjoyed having a, a Mr. Whippy ice cream. Um, yeah, you know, they had a gaming zone, you know, they had uh, face painting, they had, you know, board games bit, they had all sorts of stuff. It was really, really good. But you'll see that in uh, some of the video I've taken, which I'll um, I'll show shortly um, so you can see what it was all about. So that's it, really. Um, I really enjoyed Bedford Comic Con. I really recommend going to striking events uh, shows. They do them all over the country. Um, you can find them on Facebook. I'll link their page actually down below if you're in the UK and you want to find out where they do their cons. Um, I'll link you their page. But um, yeah, I'll uh, let you have a look at uh, what Bedford Comic Con had to offer. And I'll see you all again very soon. Bye bye.